Good morning, we're here at the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, and today just one verse, verse 54. There's, uh, t t this morning and tomorrow morning, we're going to look at the uh, Peter and his denial of Jesus. But we just have to pause with this one this morning, just one line, and here it is. Having arrested him, having arrested Jesus, they led him and brought him into the high priest's house, but Peter followed at a distance. Following at a distance. It's kind of one of those lines that, you know, preaches well. Uh, just We're just going to get a piece of the story here. But how many of us have been following Jesus, but at a distance? If we'll be honest with ourselves, many times we follow Jesus, but at a distance. A distance from him. And that distance, when we open up that space, that distance between us and him, it enables us to uh, do things that we know we ought not do. It, it gives us space to... Uh, do wrong, and then and then come running back to him for forgiveness. And uh, it's da doing damage to your heart. It's doing damage to your soul. Uh, it is. And so we must, we want to follow him very closely, not at a distance. But the world around us, we we love these these shiny things, all the chrome and those bright, shiny lights of our world. And, and oh, yeah, I guess we've got to watch this uh, box, little box in our hand all the time. And so the world is, is, is constantly coming on, and, and it leads us to kind of fall behind, and, and we, we are following behind and following Jesus. But today, Jesus is very advanced in what he's doing. And so where are we? Are we on his ideal purpose for us, or are we lagging somewhere? And so, yeah, Peter is there. Peter's going to repent. Peter's going to return. Praise the Lord for that. But and I'm glad he's following, even if he's following at a distance. But a distance isn't really where we want to be. We want to come closer. We want to be closer to Jesus and have the fullest influence of Jesus upon us. The closer we are to Jesus, the more these other, all the chrome is going to not matter. The further away from Jesus we are, the more the bright lights and uh, our goldfish, you know, attention span and uh, that's going to get in the way and make it harder and harder for us to be on God's side in a time when we really need to be on God's side. Let's pray together. Your Father in heaven, help none of us to be followers at a distance. Uh, we understand, Lord. Peter's afraid. He's 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 just learning who he is. He doesn't really know how he's going to deny Jesus, but we're going to find that out tomorrow morning. Jesus already knew, and there's a weakness in many of us. Many of us are not following you as closely as we ought. Help us, Lord, to turn and follow more closely, just immediately behind uh, Jesus, just immediately drawing close, Lord. And, and as soon as Jesus' footstep comes up out of that patch of snow, may we put our, our footprint right into that same patch. May we be right up close and not have the damage that's done to us as we follow at a distance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer, asking you to help us follow you more closely. Now we ask in Jesus' name, amen. All right, friend, so this is my desire, and I'm sure it's yours as well. May we follow Jesus more closely.